We stayed at one of the most eerie places here in Alberta, and here's why. Guess where I'm at? I look a little bit crazy right now because I just went on an all-day hike, but we're going to our next stop. Upon arriving, the first thing we did was check in at the registration. For one night and two bedrooms with a window view was about $300. Cool. It's so original. Yeah. That's one of the few things that we keep from the very beginning of the hotel. Mm -hmm. Nobody understands why this place gives you the feeling that it does at your first glance. So we wanted to check this out for ourselves. You can tell why from looking at the outside to the inside that they kept a lot of dated furniture and style to remain from the year that it's built. Of course, not everything was kept in original design. A few cosmetic facelift to the building was made throughout the years. Surely this place can give you the creepers. While walking up the stairs, you can noticeably hear the stairs creaking and the fancy carpet design. Now we are headed to our room for a detailed tour of a common two bedroom guest room. All right, so we are checking in at our Prince of Wales hotel room. We are 200 and she said that our room is located in the corner of the hotel. So let's go take a look at what we have. Wow, go take a look. First thing that I noticed is our two beds, one right in the corner here, right by the windows and one a little bit more secluded. They actually look a little bit different size. This one I would say is a double and this one's probably a twin or single. Right over here we have this weird sink again. Um, I don't know what it is but Waterton likes to have a sink and mirror right outside a bedroom I guess. Here I see that they have a fan, baseboard heater, three windows, side table with a night lamp. Uh, they also prepared us some ear plugs, heavy, heavy snores like Leslie, tissue box, and currently it's 5.57, check-in time was 4 p.m. but we just had a huge hike at Crypt Hike Trail, and if you haven't checked out that YouTube page, make sure you check out the link below where I'll show you that about that hike that we went on. Over here, we have a nice side table where we can put our stuff on, big mirror, coat hanger, Lovely stuff. We'll go over here. I'm pretty sure this door is locked because it might go to the other room. So let's just double check that. And it is. So we're okay. Let's take a look at the washroom. Okay, okay. This is kind of small. Nothing hard to work with, nothing bad to work with. Um, so it makes sense why the sink is outside now because there is no sink in here where's the light you say i don't know where is the light oh right outside of the bathroom so just a friendly reminder they don't have ac here but they got one of these well guys we're gonna be doing a little bit more of the tour of this hotel so stick with us and we're gonna get right into it as soon as we freshened up, the hotel offers an in-person history tour of the hotel around 7 p.m. daily. Just make sure you double check the times at the arrival in case they change it in the future.
I won't be rolling the camera through it all, but if you would like to hear more about the history of Prince of Wales, I'd highly recommend seeing this for yourself. And we hope that you enjoy your time here at the Prince of Wales and Waterton National Park. Thank you. How's it going? Good. Can I order get an order of your feature of the week? After the history tour, the gentleman asked us if we wanted to do an in-person walkthrough of the building, which is what we're going to be waiting for next. We're going to go on the Prince of Wales hotel tour. Let's go. So my name is Eric Friedel. I'm from Ontario, and I'm coming out this season to work at the Prince of Wales as a bellman. When Thomas McKinnon designed the hotel, he had a very particular image in mind, and that was the view of Upper Waterton. Great Northern saw potential in the, uh, the ability to serve alcohol at this premise in 1925 after Alberta voted to eliminate prohibition in 1923. So initially there was a beer tavern outside the hotel. So through the distant door frame that we are now, that's part of the old beer tavern. That was changed in 1959. Uh, when they were starting to modernize the hotel. So they closed off this section that used to be part of the lobby and created a lounge in the place of a beer tavern. Now, as a fun fact, during, uh, throughout history, the opposite was also true because they had a thing called the Blues Laws. And the Blues Laws said that you couldn't drink or dance on Sundays. So the Motor Vessel International decided to do the opposite and take Canadian uh, Albertans from... Uh, from Alberta and Canada down to the States and have a party by goat haunt and then transport them back. So this area has always been something for vacation and enjoyment and a little bit of partying. It's original to the building from, oh, yeah, from 1927. Can we go in? Oh, we're allowed in. Yes. So, it's 94 years old as of uh, uh, 2021, and this is still the original cab, cage, and control mechanism. Now, the while we're up here on the fourth floor, you can really get a sense for how large and how tall the posts and beams are that hold this entire building up. Now these are solid posts of Douglas fir, so essentially they used a single tree or a large section of a single tree from the footings down below the floor all the way up to the roof structure. Mm -hmm. So there's no vertical jointing of the post, but there is jointing between the posts and the beams. And all the roof structure is open post and beam construction. Okay, holy, this is pretty tight. but. You can feel the nice breeze up here. Yeah. So the bell tower is named a bell tower because it was designed to look like one. It never actually had a real bell in it. So just some fun things to point out from up here. Our staff accommodations where all the staff live when we're not working are the three green roofs down there. Our laundry buildings down there and the water tower. So that water tower did supply the building with water when the hotel first opened. But right now we do use it as a pressure as a pressure system for the fire suppression system. So we do still pump up water from the pump house up all the way to the water tower where it supplies the water pressure. Now every bellman tells different stories or different variations of the same story depending on what their preference is. Now mine are uh, probably one of the West, well, most well known is about a girl named Sarah. Now supposedly Sarah worked here in the 1927, uh, 29, and as a housekeeper. And she fell in love with the first general manager. Now he was handsome, but he was also married. And he scorned her affection and her advances and out of despair, Sarah supposedly threw herself off a six floor balcony onto the paving stones below. Now that story actually only started being told in the 1970s to account for the supposedly spooky things that were going on in the hotel after an, an, an incident with fairly similar circumstances did happen. So the story about Sarah is false, but it's possibly based off a true event. Now the details of that event were kept private for um, 
confidentiality and privacy sake. Oh, sorry about that. I don't know how that happened. So just judging from our experience here, like we don't find anything, you know, Strange. spooky yeah. about this place. You know, coming in here has always been welcoming. It's bright and lightly in here, right? And uh, it's been just overall a pretty good experience for us. So um, I'm sure that the the stories that have been told, they might have just kind of it's an old went away. <laughs> it's an old building, of course, and people enjoy being entertained. Uh, and, and, you know, with a building like this, folklore stories come with the building as, as staff members. You know, we live down here, we live together, we talk together, we eat together, we go on hikes together. And we certainly have a, uh, a close connection with one another. And we all have a lot of fun. Awesome. So the Prince of Wales does have a gift shop open to the public. You guys can check it out. Currently we are waiting for the afternoon tea. The doors open at 12 p.m. So make sure you guys come here early so that you guys could reserve your spot once the door opens. And uh, let's go take a look what it looks like. And I will go over our seven assortments of tea that we offer here today. So for our herbal teas, we have a mint tea and an African nectar. For our green teas, we have a spring jasmine. And for our black teas, we have vanilla bean, Earl Grey, and English breakfast. We have classic deviled eggs and bruschetta bread. On our second level up here, we have buttermilk scones, we have macadamia shortbread, we have cranberry apricot biscotti, and strawberry jam. As for the very, very top here, where all the fun stuff is, we have orange chia dream cake, triple chocolate cake, Strawberry shortcake. There's a lot of cakes going on here. And maple vanilla macaroons with gooseberries on the top as well. Yeah, dig in, enjoy, have some fun here today, okay? To finish our trip, it was nice to sit down and relax and just have a moment to enjoy and reflect on everything that we have completed in our three-day adventure in Waterton. The afternoon tea is definitely special because of the items on the menu. It changes depending on what they currently have, so you're always going to be getting something different in a month's time. I just wanted to say thanks again for joining us here at the Prince of Wales for afternoon tea and hopefully you have yourselves a wonderful day. Awesome, thank you Justin. <laughs> so to conclude this whole trip, we had no funky or eerie experiences in our trip, but instead we had the exact opposite. It was quite refreshing and relaxing and honestly the hotel didn't give us much of a creepy vibe. I hope this video makes you think about staying here on your next trip. So I'll see you guys all soon. Alright guys, so that pretty much sums up our stay here at the Prince of Wales. We are checking out tomorrow, so that is the end of this video tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys do, make sure you guys like, subscribe to my channel for you guys to see more. Also comment on where you want me to stay next.